Top 7. The Largest Helicopters in the World Even though helicopters are not very popular in commercial aviation, where they are primarily utilized for the transportation of people and commodities to and from isolated locations, they have become an indispensable component of the fleets of military aircraft around the world. Number 7. EC-725 Eurocopter The most weight that may be taken off is 2450 pounds. In addition to being referred to as the Super Cougar, the EC-725 was developed with the express purpose of enhancing search and rescue operations in France. It took its first flight in the year 2000 and it was given to the French Air Force for the very first time in the year 2005. With an interior payload of over 12,500 pounds and an exterior payload of more than 9,900 pounds, the EC-725 is a versatile aircraft. On top of that, it can be utilized to convey both troops and cargo, as well as to evacuate injuries. To be used in combat, the EC-725 can be outfitted with an armor plate if it is required to do so. The helicopter is classified as a long-range tactical transport helicopter and can carry a total of 28 individual soldiers. It was manufactured by Eurocopter, which is now known as Airbus Helicopters, and it is also being utilized by several countries, including Mexico, Brazil, Indonesia, and Malaysia, amongst others. Number 6. A90 as the NHI The most weight that may be taken off is 9259 pounds. In its early days, the NH90 was available in two distinct iterations. The NH90 NFH, which stands for the NATO Frigate Helicopter, and the NH90 TTH, which stands for the Tactical Transport Helicopter, are the names given to the two distinct variants. Anti-ship and anti-submarine warfare were two of the jobs that this aircraft was utilized for. Additionally, they were utilized for assault transport, electronic warfare, rescue, and VIP transport operations. One of these variants can transport 20 soldiers with an external payload that is greater than 9250 pounds, in addition to an internal payload that can carry up to 11,000 pounds of stuff. The National Highway 90 and Age 90 has been in production since the middle of the 1980s and is currently being exported to a variety of countries, including New Zealand, Belgium, Sweden, Australia, and Norway, amongst others. Number 5. My 38. The date of entry into service for the My 38 is December 2019. Created in the year 2003. The most weight that may be taken off is 34,392 pounds, 15,600 kilograms. The Mi-38, which is a product of Russian helicopters, is one of the most recent products of the Russian aerospace sector, which has been subject to severe sanctions as a result of the country's invasion of Ukraine. Despite this, the helicopter has been in the process of being developed since the early 2000s, which is more than a decade before Russia started its proxy war against Ukraine in the eastern region of the latter country. As stated by Russian helicopters, the Mi-38 is a multi-role aircraft that is capable of transporting freight and passengers, including high-profile individuals, and can also be utilized as a search and rescue helicopter. According to the Mi-38 brochure, the development of the medium-sized helicopter was accomplished by combining the most successful procedures for the operations of the Mi-type helicopter. According to the manufacturer, Modern avionics, radio communication equipment, crash-resistant fuel system, and energy-absorbing structural elements ensure secure round-the-clock all-weather operation in a wide range of ambient temperatures, from 50 to plus 50 degrees Celsius. Number 4. CH-47 Chinook Block EU The beginning of service for the Boeing CH-47 Chinook Block EU is scheduled for the year 2020 Block EU. Beginning in July 2023, production has begun the transfer from Block I to Block EU. The maximum weight that can be taken off is 54,000 pounds, 24,493 kilograms. Even though the first Boeing Chi-47 Chinooks took to the skies in the 1960s, a helicopter has continued to be manufactured right up until the present day. The manufacturer made the news in July 2023 that it had begun the process of migrating from Block I aircraft to Block I aircraft. The manufacturer stated that it would finish the move once it had finalized its orders for the Block I aircraft in 2027. Despite this, the announcement of the Block I helicopter was made in July 2017, following the receipt of a contract worth $276 million from the United States Army. At the time, Boeing provided specifics of an enhanced drivetrain that would transfer more power from the engines to the newly designed rotor blades. In September 2020, Boeing handed over to the United States Special Operations Command's SOCOM, the first Chinook Block Q of the next generation. There were a total of 24 helicopters that were ordered by SOCOM at that time, and the delivery of these helicopters was an important step for the program. Number 3. Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey 
The date of entry into service Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey comes in June of 2007. Having been produced continuously since September 2005 at full capacity, the most weight that may be taken off is 60,500 pounds, 27,442 kilograms. The Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey aircraft, which is without a doubt a technological marvel, has been plagued by several issues, including several deadly accidents and a recent grounding, which caused the whole fleet of aircraft to be grounded for many months. Despite this, the aircraft is genuinely singular in its own right. After all, Bell, which was one of the producers of the V-22, observed that it was the only production tiltrotor aircraft in the world. This aircraft combined the vertical lift capability of a helicopter with the speed, range, and maneuverability of an aircraft. The manufacturer's brochure also included information that the V-22 Osprey had three distinct maximum takeoff weights, vertical 52,600 pounds, short 57,000 pounds, and self-deploy 60,500 pounds. Number 2. Sukhorsky CH-53K King Stallions As of April 2022, the date of entry in his service, production has been going on since August 2023 at full capacity. The most weight that can be taken off is 88,000 pounds, 39,916 kilograms. One of the most modern helicopters is the Sikorsky CH-53K King Stallion, which is the most recent iteration of the CH-53 aircraft. Sikorsky, which is a division of Lockheed Martin, improved the CH-53 aircraft to become the CH-53K. The manufacturer claims that the helicopter was constructed by the parameters that were required by the United States Marine Corps USMC. Its purpose is to operate as the land and sea logistics connection for the United States Marine Corps. When Sikorsky delivered two CH-53K King Stallions to the United States Marine Corps in February 2023, the firm stated that the United States Navy U.S. and had announced the full rate manufacturing the helicopter in December 2022. According to the United States Naval Institute USNI, the CH-53K King Stallion began manufacturing at its full pace in August in the year 2023. Despite this, Lockheed Martin has stated that the Sikorsky CH-53K King Stallion is the most powerful helicopter in the world. This is because the aircraft is capable of transporting a joint light tactical vehicle JLTV or even a light armored vehicle LAV. Number 1. Mil May 26. 1983 was the year when the first Mil May 26 entered service. Created in the year 1980. The most weight that may be taken off is 123,459 pounds, 56,000 kilograms. In terms of its load capacity, the Mi-26 has been deemed the best line production helicopter in the world by Russian Helicopters, which is a division of Rostec, the same company that owns the United Aircraft Corporation UAT. The maximum takeoff weight MTOW of the Mil Mi-26 is 123,459 pounds, which is equivalent to 56,000 kilograms. A brochure published by the maker of the helicopter stated that the first Mi-26 that was manufactured in substantial quantities took to the skies in October of 1980. The Mi-26 has been in service up until the present day, including its two most recent variants, the Mi-26TS, which is utilized by China, and the Mi-26T2. A digital autopilot, new navigational systems, and the most recent avionics modifications are all included in the most recent version of the aircraft, which is the most recent upgrade. It is important to remember that during the conflict in Ukraine, which began February 2022 when Russia invaded the country, no Mi-26 aircraft have been destroyed by gunfire. So this is the end of our today's video, do you like it? Kindly give your valuable response in our comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting and informative videos.